our advantage now is not our title is the mystery that is available to us in Christ that's why the Bible said these things are hid for all ages for our glory every time we begin to truly grow in Christ by prayer we begin to gain access to mysteries because if you don't pray you will think quoting the scripture will make a difference in your life every scripture you know is an access point into a dimension in Christ so if you want to grow something must happen to bring alive the capsules of scriptures and to make it a reality in your life and that is why that is where we embrace prayer not just as an act of reaching God but as a lifestyle for survival in the kingdom as a tool of eternal relevance the gate of the spirit realm is locked away only men of prayer could open it I now realize that even the name of Jesus on the lips of a man will not achieve much if he doesn't have conviction in that name and I saw that conviction is in the place of the spirit there's a place you get to in the spirit that everything you say become a reality to you there are certain things you don't say even if you think it you emit energy and it begins to change things so i now discover that oh the corridor of eternity is only available to men that pray so the first thing that god taught me about prayer is that only men of prayer can host god in their soul all of us have god in our spirit but the measure of God we have in our soul, which is a function of our spiritual growth, can only be possible when we can wait in the presence of God. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28 to 31, he said, Have you not heard? Has it not been said to you that the everlasting God fainted not, neither is he weary? He giveth power to the faint, and unto them that have no mind, he increases strength. He said, Even the youth shall be weary, and the young men shall mortally fall. That means in the ranking of mortality, the strongest among mortals are young men. But to say, compared to the immortal monarch of Zion, even the young man is like an epileptic agent. The only way a young man can sustain a stature that is consistent with the dimensions of God is when we master the technology of downloading God. And he said, They that wait upon the Lord, they mount up with wings like the eagles. They begin to run and they don't faint. They walk, they are not weary. Why? Because the everlasting God fainted not, neither is he weary. So when you begin to pray, something begins to happen. So the dimensions of God become your reality. That is the dimension that God wired into man before the fall. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 2 verse 19 that the names that Adam called the animals, that was the name that was. That is because in the chapter of heaven, all the animals before they were created were already named. But there was something about the unfallen man. He could tap into the frequency of heaven and he knows what God did. Even when God slew him and he was asleep and God created a woman, the name God called the woman was woman. The guy woke up and said, you shall be called woman because he operated as a frequency. But what the fall does is that the fall brings you down from the realm of God. But he said, they that wait upon the Lord, they begin to mount up with wings. They begin to mount up with wings like the eagles. They run, they are not willing. They walk, they don't fight. What happens is that the immortal dimensions of God begins to enter their time. That's when a stammerer can come and speak and the night turns red. The stammerer can come and speak and quails fill the land. The stammerer can show up and say, have no respect unto their prayers. If I be a man of God, a land will open and swallow you up. And even God in heaven will obey the voice of a stammerer. Why? Because there's a download. Joshua shows up and he said, let the sun stand upon the mountains of Ajalo. Let the moon return upon the valleys of Gibeon and he said the sun did not make haste to go down in the day that God hearkened to the voice of a man he said that day have never existed and it will never be why because a man mastered the intelligence of download you can walk into that place as a vulnerable man when you show up the Bible will say he said Moses wish not that his face shone like the sun because he had stayed in the presence for long and the Moses that came out is a God that guy is no longer a mortal. There is something that happens. His weaknesses are swallowed up because he has stayed in the present. When he walks among men, he says, God, you can see him, but his tendencies are like the immortal spirits of Zion. Why? The intelligence.
intelligence of download there is something that happens to you and you can walk through the terrorists and they will drop their guns they will not know what is going on it's called download David said by the hand of God I ran through a troop by God I leaped over a wall that's not a man that's a downloaded version of God he has become like the invisible God that is in the spirit and he taught the same thing to his warriors the Bible said I don't need the airstrike once upon a time he fell upon the sword and he slew 800 men that's not a man he said Eliasa the son of Toto he fell upon a spear and he challenged the garrison of an army that's not a man he said Ashana the son of Ake he took one of his sword and he defended the land that's not a man it's called a tallow your name can be Kenna wait in prayer a Kenna will come out and they will become like a god among men that's why he told Moses behold I have made you a god unto Pharaoh it doesn't matter if you are his camera it doesn't matter if you came from a poor background it doesn't matter whether you are educated or not how much download do you have in your spirit they that wait upon the Lord they mount up they mount up with wings they mount up with wings they mount up with wings like the eagles as I speak now the hand of God is coming upon people so that they can mount up so that they can mount up I see the wings of the spirit is spreading so that man can mount up so that man can mount up the Bible said Philip went to Samaria only one man he didn't need a band of intercessors he didn't need a band of prophets there was something there was a download there was a download how much of God do you carry the Assyrians will overrun us the sons of the poor woman will overrun us unless men of download appear on the mountains so it says blow the trumpet in Zion sound an alarm upon his holy mountain so when you go to prayer your focus is not bread and wine when I go to pray I'm searching the spirit because what I'm looking for is download if that download is enough I can walk to my enemy Israel was in captivity in Egypt for 430 years but the Bible said that God spoiled the Egyptian he gave favor to the Israelites and they spoiled the Egyptian how can a 430 year slave walk to the master and say give me your gold give me your jewelry there's download there's download so when you speak you speak with the tongue of an angel when you show up it is the fragrance of Christ the second strategy of prayer that brings men to spiritual good is what we call spiritual networking. Networking, networking. Do you see this place I'm standing? Friend David Ogwe stood here many years ago. If I can ascend to the spirit and find where he stood, I can operate by the energy that he operated here. Did you not study about John? The Bible said he was in the wilderness until the day of his showing forth. He was not in the wilderness because it's a palatable place to live. John needed to come in the spirit of Elijah. So there is a place he must hide himself. As he stood there, a point came where the man that went to the wilderness is John. But the man coming out is Elijah. The difference is 800 years. But time is no longer a factor. Because John entered into an eternity economy. And on the strength of that economy, he can download Elijah into his day. You can download Moses into your day. You can download Enoch into your day. So you go, the, the people, the sons of the bond woman arrest you. But by the spirit, you enter where Enoch stood. And you can command by location. It's a strategy in the spirit realm. Our advantage is mysteries. Mysteries. He said to Daniel, he said, you seal the book. But Paul came. He didn't bother. He said, when he pleased God to reveal Christ in me, I conferred not with flesh and blood. I went to Arabia. Paul entered where Daniel stood with God. And he said, I was brought into the fellowship of the mystery. And the same thing that Daniel saw and sealed the book, Paul came and opened it. He said, I received a grace to make men see. That thing that Daniel locked away, I came to unlock it. It's a place in Zion. Jacob told Reuben, as unstable as water, you shall not prosper. But Moses came, he entered the spirit, and he said, let Reuben live and not die. There's a place we can enter and we can begin to fight with the strength of many. 
if person Itahosa was able to challenge Islam, you can challenge Islam. All you need to do by spiritual networking, enter the mountains of Zion. In Songs of Solomon chapter 4 verse 4, he said the mantle of many warriors is on the ear of the city of David. You can enter there and wear the garment of David and come down. It's called spiritual networking. Only men of prayer understand. That's why Jesus himself in Matthew 17 verse 2 on the Mount of Transfiguration, Moses and Elias came. And they were encouraging him about what he would do in Jerusalem. Spiritual networking. John was in the Isle of Patmos in the last day, weary and depleted. But he said, I was in the spirit. Patmos is not my problem. I will remain in the spirit. And as he was in the spirit, he heard a sound like the voice of a trumpet. And his brothers came from heaven. He wanted to worship the angel and he said, No, don't worship me. I am like one unto you. Networking. You can enter the spirit realm. And today, your name is Adora. But you can connect with Captain Kuman in the spirit. And you begin to operate dimension. And they don't understand. It's a dimension in the spirit. You can connect with Ami Sempe McFassi. It's a dimension. You hear a story of Francis of Assisi. And by prayer, you can connect with it. Why? You have come to Mount Zion. The city of the living God. To an innumerable company of angels. To the spirit of just them made perfect. This is why I don't worship men anymore. I know that I have formed a family in the spirit. Many years ago, in the place of prayer, the hand of God entered my room and it climbed me out of my body. Took me into the years backward and it showed me the life of Pastor Chris Yaki. And he said, You want to strive? Anybody you want to find before you in the spirit, you will find him there. Prayer! Oh, you don't know the powers of prayer. You don't know the powers of prayer. The third thing that prayer does is called divine administration. People can be persecuted in Afghanistan, pray in Nigeria. Don't bother, pray. The Bible says the prayers of the saints, it has sent to heaven as others and they are stored up in golden fires. Then the angels of God meet them with others. So somebody can be crying in Afghanistan, pray here. Pray here. The reason God will appear to the person in Afghanistan is because you are praying. He was not violating the laws of the spirit. Somebody is praying. Did you not read about Paul? He was on his way. The moment he entered Damascus, Jesus showed up. Paul was in Jerusalem. Jesus did not appear. But when he entered Damascus, Jesus showed up. Why? Ananias had secured the borders. So Jesus cannot allow Paul to enter Damascus. He showed up. And Paul was struck blind. Jesus appears to a man and he tells Paul, Go into the city, you will be told what to do. Intelligence of prayer is deeper than bread and wine. The next time you pray, look unto the hills from whence cometh your help. Ah, he said they looked unto him and their faces were radiant and they were not ashamed. One man can be stronger than an army if you understand the intelligence of networking. If you understand the intelligence of spiritual mapping. If you understand the divine administration of securing territorial integrity by prayer. The fourth in prayer does is reconfiguration. This is where warriors rise. This is where priests rise. This is where kings rise. This is where merchants rise. Because all of us can start and believe as believers. But when we enter Zion, then they begin to read to you the scroll of your destiny. That's why fact for us will be praying. But in heaven, you are a prophet and an apostle. He's a businessman. He's a merchant. Only the spirit can reconfiguration take place. That's where warriors are born. It is in Zion that you find Shammah, the son of Agai. It is in Zion that you find Eliasa, the son of God. There is a dimension of you that can slay 800 men. But come to Zion. Come to Zion. Come to Zion. That's where the spirit of just men is made perfect. You don't know your dimension. They can call you Rahab the prostitute. Come to Zion. When you come to Zion, you can become the progenitor of Jesus Christ. They can call you Chinere, the club dancer. Come to Zion. That's when you will know that you are a priest and matters of territorial legislation will be committed to you. Men will call you names, but there is a white crystal in heaven. The Bible said he will give you a name that no man know. So they call Peter Simon, they read, but he came, he said, You are rock. You are rock. You are rock. You are not a reed. You are not a reed. You are rock. 
They call him Abraham, as own father. But he came to Zion and he said, You are Abraham, the father of kings. Come to Zion. That's when you will realize that you are a feeble, but in the spirit, you are a warrior. That's when you will realize that on earth you are feeble, but in Zion, you are a prophet. That's when you will realize that on earth they called you a liar, but in Zion, you are a prophet. Only for the coals of fire to touch you. And then your dimensions open. People will look at you and say, Hey, is this you? No, you didn't know me. The man you saw was the part the world gave me. I have entered Zion. I came out as a warrior. I came out as a prophet. I came out as a governor. Now I come to defend the interests of my master, the king and the monarch of the eternities of heaven. This is when blessings begin. When God reconfigures men, then he begins to give them badges. God gives some of them with the invasion. He said, I have anointed Bethany, the son of Uri, to do all cunning artificial by wisdom. And what Moses saw on the mountain, Bethany was on earth and he was able to download it because there was a wisdom given to him. There's a wisdom that God gives to the last day army that the world cannot disguise. You will stay in your house, you do something, and the whole world look for you. That's what makes for wealth transfer. Not give, it shall be given unto you. There are some that God gives a name. And then suddenly they say, Lawrence Oyo. And then he puts a chant on the internet. And they say, Lawrence Oyo. And then somebody hears the chant in Afghanistan. And they say, what did you do? Hey, hey Allen went to heaven too many times. And when he shows up before a demon, she say, I am A.A. A. Allen. I am A.A. A. Allen. I am A.A. A. Allen. Did you not read that the demons that fought the sons of Skiva, they say, Jesus we know. God we know. Who are thou? God gives you a name. That name can open doors. I am Michael Oroko. It's enough. It's an investment. 